Welcome to my quick tip favorite color mixes series. In this edition, I'll review one of my favorite mixtures, Sap Green and Pyro Red. This is one of my favorite mixtures that I use, Sap Green and Pyro Red. I use this mixture quite frequently whether I'm doing a floral or a landscape. Sap Green directly out of the tube is a bit raw. Taking a touch of pyro red and mixing it in takes that rawness off. The more you add, it drives it more and more towards neutral. One of the things when you're mixing a color on your palette, in this case I'm using these two different pigments, I've added the red to the sap green, the pyro red to the sap green, and you can see the change it's made to it but you can swing it back and forth by adding more green I can take it back towards the green if I add more red I can take it back towards the red and uh, you can do this until you get exactly the, the mixture that you're looking for and obviously the less water I have the darker the mixture is going to be but I can take this and make it a quite uh, quite a warm mixture by adding more red or uh, keep it more towards the green side but you can see what kind of nice neutrals and nice tones you can get by mixing these uh, just two pigments in, in various proportions now as I start to take this uh, pigment and apply it to the paper. I have the pyro red on the left and the sap green on the right. And I'm going to draw these two together and just lead a wash around and let the two colors mingle. But you can see the neutrals that start to develop and the shifting of the color. But there's a lot of options created by using these two colors. And as I said, I use these in florals, and I use these in landscapes quite often. So you can let these colors mingle on paper and use one another to charge your wash, or you can lay down uh, flat washes that you've mixed in your palette. And again, as you saw me mix it on my palette, you can come up with a number of um, different tones by varying the, the ratio of the green or the red. And you can see the, the nice green on the right. It's, it's more of a natural green than out of the tube. And then uh, you get a very nice warm neutral on the left side there. I'm going to load these up a little bit with uh, some pigment and then take some water and gradate this, uh, these tones down. So you can see how nicely that nice uh, toned down sap green can be used in landscapes or florals. And the same thing with this red. And there's my quick tip for sap green and pyro red. Again, this is one of my favorite mixtures that I use in many of my paintings, both landscapes and florals. If you do have questions regarding this video, you can direct them towards this email address, contact at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.